So hi there guys, it's Connor Plays here, just coming out in the brand new Paladins video, and today it's actually a bit of a bittersweet one for me, because I've actually already filmed it once and it didn't work, but today we're actually going to be doing the Dragon's Core Chest Challenge, as you can see in the title of the video. We're going to be opening one of the Dragon's Core Chests, and then no matter what we get from that chest, whatever champion that, that corresponds to, that's the champion that we'll go ahead and use in today's game. So we're heading over to the store and we'll go see what's in this chest. So as you can see on the screen, Dragon's Call Chest, 100 Crystals, I'll show you what's in there in a second. But we have actually got the Rise of Furia Chest just added today I believe, because it weren't on here yesterday unless it was added, you know, early hours yesterday or something like that. But anyway, we've got the Rise of Furia Chest, it's actually quite sick and I'll definitely be doing a chest challenge on this later in the week. But you've got the, all the skins from the Dark Tides thing, which I don't really understand because if I open this for 200 Crystals and get it, it's not really fair on the people who've paid a lot of money. To actually get these skins you know normally in the actual events but hey ho I'm not really complaining because these skins are sick I really want that Androxa skin that Androxa skin looks absolutely insane but anyway enough of the Rise of Fury chest we'll go ahead and head over head on over to the Dragon's Call chest but that chest challenge on the Rise of Fury chest is coming soon keep your eyes peeled for that one so if we go ahead and go into the Dragon's Call chest now I've had a little bit of an idea for this and I wouldn't call myself a genius, but some people may say I am a genius anyway. Shut up, Evie, you're doing me head in already. So, why I'm a genius is, obviously the skins and emotes and sprays and stuff in this chest are all epic and rare and, and whatnot. But then you also got the uncommon, uncommons and the commons down below as well. And I've actually had the idea of buying all the common and uncommon um, skins in this chest, just be purely because I don't want to be getting them for 100 crystals, to be perfectly honest. Well, I suppose 100 crystals isn't really a bad deal, but realistically I could buy them with gold anyway, so why would I not just go ahead and do that? And then I've got more chance of getting the epics and rares with the crystals, which seems like a good trade-off to me. So anyway, I had about 30,000 gold and I went ahead and just bought all these skins. Well, some of them I already had, some of the roost packs I already had, but I went ahead and bought all the skins anyway. So hopefully, well, it's guaranteed that we're going to get at least a rare or epic item, whether it's a skin or not. I don't know if it's a spray or an emote. I don't really know what we're going to do there, but we'll jump in anyway and we'll go ahead and see what we get. Just before we do jump into the chest opening, I would like to say if you do go ahead and enjoy this video, please smash that like button down below. Really appreciate that. Really helps me out. Also, please comment down below what you got from this chest. It'd be absolutely insane to see what everyone else got. Some comments on my last video were telling me what they got. It was interesting to see the different mix of skins that everyone got. And finally, if you do want to keep up to date with all the Paladins content, please smash that subscribe button down below. Turn their notifications on. Always want to be notified of these chest challenges. They're absolutely insane. So fun to see what we get from these chests and see me fail or succeed in playing random champions anyway. So with all that being said, let's jump right in to the chest opening. 100 crystals, here we go, we'll purchase it, hopefully we get an epic skin, what's it going to be, please now spray, what's it going to be? It's an ash emote, uh, do you know what, it's an emote and that's not really what I want, but it's ash and I quite like playing ash and you know she's probably one of my, or if not, no she's definitely my favourite tank, favourite champion I don't know about but she's definitely my favourite tank anyway, so go ahead and equip that emote and today I guess we'll be using ash, which actually I'm not that salty about considering some of the champions we've had lately, so we'll go ahead Heading over into the game. So I've just went ahead and got that Ash locked in. And I would like to say I'm slacking on the Ash skins. Considering she was my favourite champion at one point. And, you know, still is my favourite tank. Definitely slacking on them skins. I've only got the, you know, default and the alternate. I would like to get that Ronin. And I did try and get it in the Ascension's Peak chest. But it's actually gone now and I'm pretty devastated about it. I think it was Ascension's Peak anyway. I'm pretty sure it was. It could be something else. But anyway... I was trying to get that Ronin skin, didn't get it anyway, unfortunately for me. But we are playing Siege on Fish Market, Team Cobb's looking quite good, we've got a decent healer, decent damage, decent flank, let's jump right into it. Now I know I keep banging on about Ashby, my favourite champion, or at least my favourite tank in the game, but I haven't actually played it for a fair while, because you know when you get used to that champion and you just run out and run out and you just get a bit sick of it, that's what I did with Ash. So I might be a bit rusty on the whole skills and stuff, but I'll soon be back into fighting form, back up to peak health and peak performance on the Ash. Let's jump right in, let's get the shield down this point, and let's just get some good progress on it, deal some damage. Who have we got coming in? We've got the Strix over there, we've got the Dredge up there, we've actually got this Fury up there as well, or did she jump behind me? No, she didn't. And we've got the dredge over there dealing some damage, which we do not want realistically. Run away from that. Damn it, it's a guy by anyway. Get the shield up for that emoji. Just try and push it away from me if we can. 
stay behind the shield. Just want to try and use the shield to my advantage. I will just, just about survived in that situation there. Try and stay out the way of them dredge bombs. Get back on this point. Just get some progress on it. We aren't actually doing much damage to people, but we are, you know, pretty much dominating the game in terms of, you know, um, positioning and things like that because no one's really getting in us. Nice, we got that dredge taken out. He was causing us some issues. Who's behind me here? I can't even see. Oh, flying. It was the Eevee. She can deal some insane damage as well. It's a bit of a nightmare. Where's that Eevee floating off to? Can't see where she's got over there. She's up there trying to take on our Maeve. Don't think that's going to go too well for her. We did actually get the payload. Nice. Hopefully we'll be able to push someone off the edge here. Who have we got coming around? Let me see if I can get them. Got the Moji. Let's even just take it out. No way. Is, have I not got that Moji? Oh, what a nightmare that was. How could I not get that Moji? She literally had a sliver of health. I wish I didn't have that little um, that push ability up when she actually was here. Let's see if I can push her off here. Oh, damn it, just missed the push. Can I get it? Oh, she bailed down the corner. Oh, Jesus, that Strix is just sniping around there. Do not want any of that in my face. Thank you, Strix. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Why did I do that? And I've just launched myself off the edge. I pressed the button by accident. I didn't even mean to use any ability there. I pressed the wrong button. And just launch myself off the edge, trying to get away from Strix. Just let's help this um, Ceres out here. Don't know where this... Oh, there's the EV here. Nice. I'm going to try and get this EV here. Yeah, we did. Nice. So we took that EV out. This dredge is just firing some of bullets. Well, I think we'll just zoom through, activate my shield, just try and get some, you know, good progress on this siege here, or at least get, you know, make it seem like we're dominating. And this Strix is just there, just sniping right. Oh, damn it. He managed to get me. Always the dredge. I think it was actually the dredge that got me in the end. Enemy killing spree, what an absolute nightmare. We still got that Strix up there. Nice, the Maves went round and flanked him. Just activate this um, little shield, and we tried to get the Fury, unfortunately, we couldn't. Let's just try and push up with this um, Siege, or yeah, I suppose it would be called the Siege, wouldn't it? I don't really know. Oh, Payload, that's the one. I'll have to forget that name. Payload, anyway. So, yeah, let's just push up with this Payload. Let's just. Whoa, where'd that shield go? How did that end up behind me? That was an absolute bug, that wasn't it? Ah, oh, that dredge is just, on, just activating the ult on here. Let's just push this payload across. Let's deal some damage to the Strix. Can we get him? Don't think we did get him, but we are pushing this payload nicely. Let's just see if we can stay out of these bombs. And push this dredge away. And can we get it across? Don't think we can get it across. And yeah, ah, oh, damn it, we died. It's so close. Someone just push it that tiny bit. Please say someone's there. Yes, we got the push. Push successful. Nice, we got the 2-0, that was a nice play. Because they're all staying quite long range, because obviously they haven't got a tank, it's quite hard to actually get any limbs. I haven't really got the eliminations I would have liked in this game, to be honest. I think I've only got about 3 or 4, which is a bit of embarrassing if I'm being perfectly honest. Just get away, Moji. Oh, damn it, she's in the shield and couldn't get it. Let's just get the baton ram on here, get it out of my face, get the shield back up. Nice, take out that Moji, nice, that was a nice little limb there. And we have got that Eevee tried to get me with that ult, and unbeknown to me, I actually got out of it, which is actually a bit of a decent play for me, if I do say so myself. This Eevee's just blinking about all over the place. Can we get through there? Just couldn't get it, unfortunately. And I think we are going to capture this point again, which, you know, I'm not complaining with. I'll take a win over a limbs, to be honest. Normally, I do go for a limbs, but playing the tank, you, you can't be just playing the objective, can you? Getting loads of objective time. Now, no one's actually on me. Here we have got the Moji, and she just got melted there. I don't know what the hell that Moji was thinking. That Strix is just lurking about up there again. I think he's actually activated his little stealth ability, which is a bit of a nightmare. Ooh. Nice, we managed to get that Eevee when she came out to that little um, ability. Just get that shield up there, protect everyone from that Strix. And nice, we're getting a decent little push here. We've got it over halfway already. And we've still got a minute and a half to go. That means I can get at least like two resets in before I even have to think about it. Get that shield up. Just trying to take this Moji out. Nice, we got the Moji out. Put that shield up. I feel like I'm getting into this Ash again now. Can I get this dredge? Where is he? Oh, I got healed up. Damn it. And I got stuck in that Fury little ability there. Ah, no, run away. I've got the heals from Ceres, nice. But I've got no one with me in terms of damage-wise, so I can't really do nothing in the long range, which is unfortunate. I've actually got my ult up, which would be a bit of a clutch play on this point. And I'm stunned again by the um, Fioria. Let's just activate this ult. And let's push this payload along if we can. 
push everyone away. Nice. If we got round us, why isn't this payload pushing? Oh, it's that emoji again, isn't it? Get away. Oh, damn it, didn't even realize I was that low health. I suppose it would be, though, if four of them around me. I was just trying to concentrate on getting that payload across. Just trying to, you know, focus on the objective rather than getting the kills that were around me. But I suppose it is what it is. We've got 40 seconds left. All our teams up. One last push. We should be able to get this, surely. Might actually be able to sneak around the back. Damn it, probably shouldn't have done that because I'm getting absolutely annihilated here. Nice, we managed to get around the back of them, which I don't know whether it was a good play or not, because I'm getting absolutely annihilated. Getting the heals from Ceres, nice we are on the point. Can someone get that moji? Nice, we did. Just keep the shi uh, shield up, should I say. Stay behind it, we've got someone over there, but I'm not too concerned with them. We have got overtime on the point, just move this Eevee away. Nice, that Eevee just got annihilated. What the hell is with that music from that Maeve then? We got the victory anyway, that was a nice little game, nice little gameplay from Ash there. I feel like I got into it. Like, later on in the game, the first half of the game was a bit ropey, pressing a few uh, wrong buttons and stuff, but then I came into my own, was playing that shield nicely, got into some good little positions. Don't know what a limbs I might have got in the game, but I definitely got a lot of objective time there. That was absolutely insane gamers playing the tank anyway. That play of the game was sick, triple kill. Nice, she, I think she won us that round there. So obviously I got best front line with being the only front line on there, but I got 241 objective time, which is just insane. 241 objective time is actually quite sick. Damage, do you know what? Actually, compared to the rest of the team, it isn't that bad. Well, saying that, I only got more than our, both our healers. This Maeve music is so loud in me, so I'm just going to have to lower this down a second because it's doing me head in. But anyway, yeah, we only got more damage than our two healers. But you know what? I'm not really complaining about that because they were all staying long range and I could only stay short range. We shielded 63,000 damage, which, wow, that is a lot, a lot of damage that. We got 10 limbs, 4 deaths. You know what? I'm not complaining with that. It's quite low deaths considering the game and considering they were all playing long range. And 10 limbs, you know what? Again, not complaining with it. At least it was more kills than it was assists. That Maeve just absolutely killed it. Look at that. 17 kills, 2, two assists. That is insane, that. That was some good play from that Maeve. I think she clutched up there, that game. But with that being said, anyway, that is the end of the video. If you did go and enjoy the video, please smash that like button down below. Really appreciate that. Also, comment down below what you got from the Dragon's Call chest. It'd be interesting to see what everyone's got. As I said at the beginning, I'd like to know what everyone got from this chest and what are the odds on getting, you know, the rarer skins in it. And finally, if you do want to keep up to date with all this Paladin's content, please smash that subscribe button down below, turn them notifications on. Really appreciate that, as I said at the beginning. Just really helps me out to know you're all loving this content. Thanks for watching, anyway. Goodbye!